Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you are well. My name is Nick, uh, we're on the Commodore Amiga. Almost forgot then, well done. Uh, this game is called Super Seymour, or Super Seymour Saves the Planet, posed by Codemasters in 1992. It's a bottom jack clone, really. Uh, we've already reviewed this on the ZX Spectrum, which is pretty good, I didn't mind it. I preferred the uh, original bomb jack though, so we'll see how it transfers to the Commodore Amiga. I'm a little bit worried, because they don't always transfer brilliantly, as was the case with Joe Blade. But anyway, it's level based. Uh, we have to clear the planet of toxins, here they are, in that uh, yellow uh, stuff with the black propeller on. Now you get extra points if you do it in any sort of order, so do the one where the propeller's on. But, you know, just uh, stamp on all the enemy, but more importantly, get all the stuff. You know how Bomb Jack works, don't you? So, it... Oops, I died. It feels quite basic. It's quite a cheap looking game, to be fair. It's not really pushing the Amiga to any sort of like uh, massive strength. But if you can get it cheap enough back in the day, then uh, well done you. Okay. Uh, it's not brilliant, is it? It's acceptable. Now, Codemasters, um, uh, I prefer their stuff on the ZX Spectrum, to be fair. But they've got a few games on the Commodore Amiga as well. Um... Go, go, go! Uh, I like a Toka Touring Car 1 on the PlayStation, that was by them as well, but that's better than this game. So, um, yes, I'm not quite sure what sort of creature Seymour is, he's a bit of a fat, so I think Spectrum, um, well, I think Codemasters has also converted um, Seymour goes to Hollywood on the Commodore Amiga as well, but it's another one of these games which I think does better in 8-bit land rather than 16-bit land, but if you've recently upgraded, I think I'm going to do this now, if you think you've recently upgraded from the Spectrum and you didn't know what games to get, I suppose this was a, uh, an okay introduction before all the better games come out, but you know, this was 1992 and games like Lotus were already out by this stage to compare it with, although that's a racing game, you can still compare the quality and Chuck Rock was probably around as well. Mm, right, we've done that. Off we go. Stage two. We got a bonus. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. The reviews, as always, aren't always about expert gameplay. They're about how you found the game on your first or second go, and would you want to take it back to the shops or cried yourself to death if you'd uh, saved up all your pocket money for it. I would have tolerated it, but, um, you know, I wouldn't have been disappointed, but I wouldn't have been... Um, bowled over either. There's no real reason I don't think to go back and play this one today, unless it's for historic reasons, because, well, it hasn't aged particularly well, and it wasn't super brilliant back in the day, it was just acceptable. Um, no, no frills gaming, this is. It wastes a bit of time, but there's better games available now that we've got, well, everything that ever existed to choose from, potentially. I thought I could stamp on that uh, balloon thing, but obviously I couldn't. Maybe I needed a power-up. So you got it, I think. You're a superhero of some description. I'm not quite sure what the powers are. Uh, you can collect uh, power-ups at certain points. And you must clear the world of toxins and all these nasty creatures. Uh, and then go on your merry way. I wouldn't have liked to have bought this with my pocket money back in the day, it has to be said. I'm already a little bit bored of it, and I've just looked at the clock, and I've barely been playing the thing about three minutes. But check out the Spectrum review of the thing. Better on that, I think. Uh, when I played that, I couldn't decide really if I liked Bomb Jack or Seymour. It's quite close between the two, but haven't had a time to think about it. My slight preference is for uh, Bomb Jack. Uh, Bomb Jack wasn't converted too well on the Commodore Amiga, so, you know, these are probably on a par there. I like that effect, but it's not really saving the game a super deal. Nick, that's me. Hooray. We'll play, we'll play a few games, see if it grows on me a bit better. Music is a little bit annoying as well. Doesn't do the music actually in the game, though. Uh, let's just see how many levels we can do. Now, if you want to see some other Commodore Amiga reviews, we've reviewed quite a few. At time recording, it's gradually nearing 450 different games. Uh, you can check the Amiga... Um, playlist for those or the reviewed game summary if you want a list of everything we've done in bite-sized chunks of about 30 seconds or so. Quite a lot of systems there so please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so but only if you like the channel because uh, you know if you get subs and people never watch the stuff that's uh, rather pointless. Hooray! Good good good. Nice background there. Reminds you of the background of uh, the Wild Bunch, the loading screen and that loaded on the ZX Spectrum. Right. Okay, what more can we say about this game? Well, not not a great deal, really. So let's just see how far we can get to the thing. Super more, super uh, Seymour. Well done. I can't even talk now. Seymour has got a blue cape. She hasn't gone for the traditional red. Don't know why, but anyway, he's gone his own direction. So he's got an outfit uh, competing with Batman. I don't think there's a Batman bomb jet clone. I don't think there's too many Bomb Jack clones about there. This is your opportunity to comment on what, if there are any, and what your favourite ones are. 
I've always wanted a Horus, uh, if you were familiar with the character Horus in the ZX Spectrum, I've always wanted a Horus Bomb Jank clone. I think that could work quite well. I think that'd be quite good fun, actually. So if any coders are out there and Horus isn't uh, all tied up, I'm not a bit of a question mark over him, then, um, yeah, I'd love to see that. Great stuff. Ultimate could have done a good Bomb Jack clone, couldn't they? With all their sort of, like, characters. Seymour, um, not as popular as Codemaster's character. Dizzy had a lot of games. Not too many people can remember Seymour, I'd imagine. So, But it's good to see him. He looks like a cheeky chap, but not up there with the, that egg, Mr. Dizzy. He certainly, if they had a Formula 1 team, he'd certainly be the number 2 driver. Or maybe even a test driver. But anyway, I'm sure he has his fans, Mr. Seymour. Um, very cartoony graphics, so um, uh, younger kids might have uh, liked this one. I've done it! I'm sure it was a fluke. Sure it was a fluke. Right. If you want to help the channel a bit more, there's always memberships. We get access to the members section. We see what videos are going up in the following week. I'm just trying to think what else I can add to that, but it's a bit of a time thing. The channel is, uh, well, part-time at the moment, uh, despite the, uh, the huge amount of uh, videos that go up. If I could ever go full-time, well, I suppose the quality will get a little bit better in terms of the, the vlogs and stuff. There'll be extra things as well, but that's something in the future. I'll keep working uh, towards it. Hope you enjoy the channel. It's all about defeating stress, really. Um, there's a lot of it in everyday world, so I'll take you out of the... Uh, of that in reality for a little bit we'll have a bit of fun and we meet up in the the live streams as well so yeah no if you won't miss the money if you want to become a member starts off quite cheaply that helped me uh, achieve that aim hurrah 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 right okay i'm on twitter as well jenkins 7 nick so if you want to know when the videos go up um obviously follow me on there or alternatively if you're subscribed you hit the notification bell it will send you an email i believe uh, when stuff goes up now this level looks a bit tricky there's so uh, two like boring looking birds and a bit of bubble gum which will crash is that going to crack let's see that cracks into two other eggs a bit like pang that when you're trying to um um destroy the balloons getting them into smaller bits very pang-esque Right, that's gone into... So surely... Right, okay, so... Oh, and I've died. I've headbutted that thing. I was doing quite well then. I was doing quite well then. You've got to break all that that thing's eggs, collect all the toxins, but uh, no no level passes, it looks here. Looks like you have to do the whole thing from scratch each time, which is pretty annoying. Not quite sure how many levels this has got, but I am occupying the bottom of the school board. Super Seymour! or Super Seymour Saves the Planet is also known as, but this title page just says Super Seymour, so we'll go with that. 1992. Developed by Optimus Software for them. Right. Let's see if I get gradually worse. I generally do. Uh, level 01, live 03. Time ticking down on the right there, which you've probably seen already. So you can't hang around. You've got to move, you've got to move with the times. Um, I think you can stamp on most things, but uh, that balloon thing before I had a bit of bother with. Right, let's just race through. Boom. Oh no, right, okay, good. B for bomb, look at those toxins building up. We've only got a certain amount of time and we're there. Oh no, we need to... See, this is a bit that confuses me. We've collected all the stuff, in Bomb Jack it would end then, but in this version sometimes we have to defeat all the enemies as well. Right, let's jump on him. Right, that's it, he's flatter than a pancake. That's it, surely. Yeah, still we go. Good effect there as it wipes to the next screen. Bonus! Time toxic score. What else do you need? Well, yeah. Toxic, Britney Spears sang about. I think that was she sang that about Sandy Toxic, though. Duh, duh, you are Sandy Toxic. Da, da. If you are Sandy Toxic or Britney Spears, then comment below. I know you watch these videos together sometimes in one of your nights in. Hooray! Now, I, disclaimer, I've got no evidence. No evidence of that at all. Really. QI, that's what Sandy Toxic uh, uh, presents. I'd love to be on that show, but they're going gradually through the alphabet from series to series. I think they're probably on R or something like that. I'm running out of letters of the alphabet to get famous enough to be on the show. I bet I'm going to run out of letters. Oh dear. Never mind. It used to be hosted by Stephen Fry. Now Sandy Toxic. Why am I talking about that for? Let's, let's concentrate on the game. If you're not in the UK, you won't know what I'm going on about. But what can we say about this game so far? Well, it's called Super Seymour. And... Um, the graphics are more colourful than the ZX Spectrum version. It plays vaguely similar, but the, uh, the, the Amiga could do so much better. Um, 
I'd rather play Bombjack on the ZX Spectrum uh, than play uh, this version here. If I was trying to decide what version to play, oddly enough, I'd play the Spectrum version, although it's not quite as advanced as this over this one, because, well, I, I feel a little bit robbed that it should be doing a few extra bells and whistles here. But it's competent enough, but it's just not using all the gears of the car. It's just using maybe first or second gear and, 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 and nothing else. It's almost like a souped-up Commodore 64 version, this really. I mean, I, I don't know if this came out on the Commodore 64, I'm sure it must have done, but I, I, I'd i imagine it would look very, very similar to this. Very, very similar. Right. Right, yeah, we, these these barrels are overflowing. Look a bit like that uh, black gun stuff from the early Aliens films, uh, Prometheus. Get away from the black guns, it's bad news. Now, can I jump on this balloon or not? I, before I, I jumped on it and got away with it, this, um, and then other times I jump on it and uh, have, have no joy. Spectrum version, you could just land on the thing and flatten it. I'm going to have to take a risk at some point, I think. Time is ticking down, but we've still got 56 seconds left. What is that background? It's sort of like, I do like it. It's like a, see, look, it's like a white woodland, but, you know, I couldn't jump on that thing. You have to be a bit precise. You have to be a bit precise with this. Right, last go, last go, then I'm out of here. I suppose it's a little bit addictive. I mean, I try and see the uh, the good in, in, in most games, but I will say when the game's bad or not quite as good as other ones. It's this very, very, very middle of the road, this, but um, for what they was attempting, I think they achieved what they was attempting. It's just that uh, they should have, um, you know, had about higher levels of what they wanted to do. It, it, it's, it's, just a, it's just a straight conversion from the 8-bit versions, isn't it? Super Seymour, not looking, looking overly super. But uh, don't say that because I don't want him to jump on me with his size 50 feet. Good, that's that. Right, stage two. Stage two. It could have had music going in, the, in, in it, just like Pang did. But uh, play Pang before this game, that is for sure. It's for sure. Right, come on, mister. Uh, I don't know what that... What is that enemy at the top? It looks like maybe something from Willow the Wisp. Evil Edna, maybe. One of Evil Edna's friends. It's like a... I don't know what it is. It's like a block with funny feet on. I think he'd be... He doesn't look very happy. He doesn't look like... He could run very fast. It'd be easy to outrun him. And now he's flat. Maybe that's isn't... That's why he isn't very happy. Because he's been designed with no, no chance at all. Land on this thing. I think we have to land on this thing quite precisely. Right, I haven't collected any power-ups yet that I'm aware of, where you can like, like, shoot and stuff. I'm pressing all different buttons. Oh, look at that. Holy moly, broccoli. Two lives left. Two lives left. If you're still here, then uh, well done you. I'm struggling to try and make this interesting, this, this game. If you're here, then obviously you're an aficionado of the channel. So comment below and I'll say hello or hooray or something equally as stupid uh, like I normally do. I, I tend to answer most comments. The ones I don't answer is I, if I, if I don't understand what's going on really. Or I haven't noticed it, which sometimes happens. Flatten that. What does L mean? L for leap of faith, or yeah, turn into your component bones. A bit like he's uh, chosen the wrong holy grail, up like from Indiana Jones, and then then his face is just melted. He chose poorly. If I was in the game shop and I bought this game home, then I probably that that uh, night of the last crusade would come in and say he chose poorly as I left the shop. Yeah, and uh, behind him with games like Cannon Fodder and Lotus Two or stuff. For the same price. I, I hope this was budget. I think it must have been back in the day rather than the full price thing. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very, very underwhelmed by this. Should have been called Average Seymour, although that wouldn't have sold uh, too many games. Average Seymour might save the planet, but he probably won't. That would be a better name of the game, right? Okay, so I hope you liked having a look at that gut one. Uh, that was, uh, thanks for watching. That was Super Seymour Saves the Planet, or Super Seymour, on the Amiga, published by Comus in 1992, a rather mediocre bombjack clone at the end of the day. So if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.